Okay, well, it definitely looks like you hit something. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Your vehicle is non drivable and you can't really explain to me when or where you hit something. The way you keep ignoring me. I'm right and, here. Okay, okay. So you can. You're going to jail. On August 17th, 2022, Officers patrolling the area pulled over a damaged vehicle for failing to stay in its lane. Ma'am, just come on back here for me. Okay. Who's in there? Just the kids? Yeah. Okay. Guys, hang tight right here, okay? I got more coming. Okay. Well, we're just trying to figure out what the hell happened. Yeah, it just, it like lost control. It's been pulling, it's a rental car, and it's been pulling to the right and the left. Like, I don't know if the drive shaft is. Okay, well, it definitely looks like you hit something. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was pulling to the, it was pulling to the right. I don't know if it was one of the cones or what, because it happened so fast. I was trying to remain control over it. Do you have do you have your driver's license, ma'am? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it now. Yeah, if you'd mind getting that for me. Yeah, I want to try to see what I can do to. Your... Yeah, sit down. sit down. So you don't know what happened right here with all this? It just it kind of lost control. Um, it's been swerving like uh, it's a rental car. Okay. And, uh, it's kind of one of them. Uh, well, do you re do you remember hitting anything? Because this is you definitely hit something. The whole back axle's broke. The back axle. Well, I mean something's broken. The whole tire's okay. crooked. Yeah. And all this damage here. Yeah. I uh. I don't know, it just all happened so fast. Where were you coming from? I'm coming from Ocala. And okay. um, I live here in Gainesville, but uh, it just like, it started losing control, like contraction. And it was like just pulling strongly to the right. I don't, I didn't hit nobody other. I didn't hit no, no other car. Okay. Um, so I don't know if it was like one of the cones or or what? No, that's more than a cone. Um, yeah. Well, I didn't hit a tree or anything because it was I was on the far left lane. It just started losing control and it was just going. Okay. But it's been having issues, so I was just actually about to return the vehicle back. Um, All right, let me see your driver's license. Hey, buddy. Hey. Can you do me a favor? Just stay inside the car, okay? Do me a favor. Yeah. Stay inside the car. But I've been telling them that uh, it's been having a hard time pulling to the right. Um, the rental car people. That it, it pulls to the right. So. Um, here, let's go around to the other side. I don't like you standing out here with all these cars. Okay. Here, hold my hand. I just want you to sit up in your seat right here. Okay. All right. Pardon me. Hang out right there for me. Here's your helicopter. I believe it was one of the cones, or it was something, because I was on the left hand lane. So I don't know. It all happened so fast. I just heard a crunch in. Okay. And now, now the wheel kind of like wiggling, but there's no airbags to the or anything. Stay in the car for me, Frank. You want to hang out here? I just yeah. didn't want to bring her back there Hi. with the kids. He wants to keep coming out. Okay. All right, he's gonna hang out here with the children. If you don't mind coming back to the put in my car for me. Hey, bud. Hey, go step. Go get in your car seat. I put him in there. He just climbed back around. Okay, we can put him in the back of our. You want to go sit in my car? Go sit in the police car. Yeah, come on, come with me. That baby's burning up. Is she burning up? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put her in the back seat of one of our cars or in the front seat. Okay. We're gonna put her in one of the AC cars, okay? Okay. I'm Let's step back here to the front of this patrol car, okay? Okay. I'm How old is she? She is uh, six months. Six months. Yes, ma'am. Stand right here. It's Do you have your ID? Yeah. I've got it right here. Okay. Um, it's like. Do you have enough AC in there? Yeah. I'm gonna. I just gotta crack the uh, window open. It's pulling like to the left and the right, like it's got some. Actual, it's a. It's a rental car. Um, and it's been pulling, and I actually contacted them today and told them that I think something was wrong with the tires. We're actually on the okay. way home. So yes, ma'am. 
Will you stand right here? You see where this Ford emblem is? I don't want you getting run over in the road. This no, is a no, busy no. highway. No, no, you're good. I'm just gonna Will go. you just stand right here? Yeah. Are you hurt at all? No, I'm not hurt at all. It was just like a... Quick, I can't explain it. It just happened so quick. Where's dad for them? Um, dad is uh, probably at home. Okay, can we call dad? Yeah, let's, uh, Here, hold on, hold on. Stay right there. Let me get his phone number. I'll call him. Okay. Where does he live at? All right, just sit tight right there, okay? I'll be right back with you. Okay. So, ma'am, have you been? Have you had anything to drink today? No, absolutely not. You want anything to drink? You haven't had any, any kind of alcoholic beverages or anything like no, that? No, sir. No, not at all. Okay. So, just out of curiosity, would, would you be opposed to... I'm not under the influence of anything at all. 26 pack of one, thanks. The car is already having issues. Right. Which I've already set up with the, and, uh, the, uh, the company who I ran it Right. So I've already told them I was waiting on another car because they said they were fixing the car that I had, but I didn't know that this car had so many issues. Like, lights don't work in it, it pulls to the right, sometimes to the left. I don't think uh, it's got good traction, like the, I don't know how to explain it, like, okay. it pulls, you know, from one to the other. All right, so, I'm just, just, I mean, just by the sheer nature of the vehicle driving like that, what would, what would make you want to continue driving it? I was Unfastened from the, no. your, go ahead. No, no, no. I was just trying to get them to a closer area okay. where we could get better help instead of standing on the side of the road. Okay. Would you object to taking any field sobriety examinations if to dispel my, any kind of... Uh, field sobriety? For what? I don't smell like alcohol. I'm just, I'm just asking if you would... To dispel any reason for me to believe that you're under the influence. No, no, no. I mean, I don't have an issue with that, but okay. I, I don't think that's the time right now. I'm not alcohol. You can smell my breath. You can smell whatever. But I'm not. I'm definitely not under the influence. Okay. Well, just stay, just hang out here in front let's, by this Ford emblem for me, just so you're away from the traffic. Because so, do you remember hitting anything? That's my biggest concern. Is I mean that's a that's a significant impact. So I mean. Yeah, it was no vehicle. I. I it just happened so fast. Like. Where did it happen? Do you remember? Uh, just a little bit down the road. What, do you remember what it hit? You hit? It looked like a... Was it on the prairie, before the prairie? Do you um, remember? No, it happened so fast. Like I said, the car has been... Off. Um, the car hasn't been driving well since I got it. This was a temporary car. I had a different car. Right. But they had to do some transmission work to it. So they this lemon car which was only supposed to be for a couple of days um but it has issues like i said it pulls to the left like the alive i mean if you understand i i rented it from sunrise uh sunrise i rented it from sunrise but like i said it just it's like the wheels just I got the pad there. So you don't, so just, just to dispel any of my thoughts, you don't mind doing the sobriety examination for me? I mean, I don't, I don't mind, but I'm not under the influence. Okay. I can smell my breath. I don't have any Well, alcohol. wait, other than just smelling your breath, I have other tests that I could administer if, if. Like what? I mean, I'm not denying, but I'm just saying this is a holdup. I want to know. Right, I know it's a holdup, man, but look, your vehicle, your vehicle is non-drivable and you can't really explain to me when or where you hit something. You said it all happened so quick. It all happened, it, it wasn't far down the road. It was just down, it's not far because I stopped because of the, the Okay. All right, well, I'll tell you what. The EMS is here to check out the babies. If you mind just standing out in front of my patrol car. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. This does not mean you're under arrest. It's just your constitutional rights, okay? This does not mean you're under arrest. I'm just going to read this to you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. And you have the right to have him during any questions if you wish. 
If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before any questioning. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. So having these rights, do you wish to talk to us now? I just, this is a formality, I had to read to you, it doesn't mean I'm arresting you. I mean, I'm just telling you that I am. Okay, so disp I want you to dispel those to me by taking a couple of these field sobriety examinations. I understand, but I, I haven't drank or I, I'm Okay, not perfect, these don't take long. I understand, but I'm just trying to Okay, well right now, right now, we're gonna be here for a while. This car's gonna have to be towed and checked out, okay? This car is not drivable, this car is not, I cannot allow this car to be driven on a, on a Florida highway anymore, okay? Okay. Your rear axle's probably broke. Just stay right here, ma'am. Ma'am. So listen, the way you keep ignoring me, and, okay, okay. The way you it's keep ignoring, I know it's a lot, I know it's a lot, but I want you to focus now. The babies are being handled, okay? Yeah. We'll take care of the car. I just want you to focus on me, okay? Okay, okay so we're gonna do a couple, a couple examinations, okay? The first one's called the uh, horizontal gaze nystagmus, okay? So I'm gonna be checking your eyes. Okay. All right, so I want you to stand with your feet together and hands down by your side, just like that, okay? Stay in this position until I tell you to begin. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to follow the tap, top of my pen right here, okay? Don't move your head, only follow it with your eyes. You understand? Okay. I'll do my best. All right, just keep your hands by your side. Keep your hands by your side, okay? Keep your hands down by your side, man. Just follow it with your eyes, not your head. Keep the pen, keep the pen. Just with your eyes. All right, we're going to finish conducting these. Once EMS is done, we're going to go over here so we're off the side of the road, okay? Okay, what's the deal? What's the deal? Yeah, I'm just trying to get home. Okay, well, it's on, it's... Right now, based on the accident and based on, you know, the way you've been acting, and we're just going to do these field sobriety exams and we're going to go from there, okay? I can't tell the future. You can smell my breath. I'm not on no, I'm not on no field. So these, this is what we do by policy. It doesn't say smell your breath, okay? I don't smell anything on your breath, so that'll go. I'll, I'll write that down, but. I'm just saying. And I'm not trying. This is an accident. People happen, you know? Yeah. Happen. You know what I mean? I think this is getting totally out of proportion. No, it's not. My dad owns a shop. Not far north of here. Okay. How old is he? He is three. What, do you know his birthday? August, or not August. Um, it is... His... Look, I have not been drinking in August. Have you used anything that would alter anything in your body? No, not at all. Normal people do not hit guardrails or hit cars and not know that they hit something. No, I did not say I didn't hit something. I was okay, then what'd you hit? I'm not sure what it was. But if I hit something, I usually know what I hit. As long as I'm not impaired by something yeah, no, no, or, no, no, or no. drunk. It just happened so fast that I didn't get a chance to turn around because the car was wobbling. Yeah, because so it has yeah. significant damage. Which is understandable. So that's what I'm saying. It has, so I, I wasn't able to really turn around and assess whatever the damage was from back there. You couldn't pull it off the road? Huh? You that's that's what's getting me. Is... Yeah, no, 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 no. I was pulling off the side of the road. It just... Before this deputy got behind you, you were pulling off on the side of the road? Yeah, I was already... Because we got two 911 calls saying that you weren't pulling off the road. No, I didn't. I said I was going to come down a little bit further. It just happened right back there. Did I you stop just... anywhere before they found me? What do you mean? Did you stop at any parking lot or anything? Before, no. I, before I got behind you, did you did you pull over anywhere and stop or talk to anybody? Yeah, I, I talked to... I stopped or I talked to a couple. So and then you got back in your car and kept driving? No, I wanted to see the extent of the damage to see how far the car was going to make because it's a rental car. 
so I have to explain to them what's going on. So I was trying to uh, see if it was just like a, a bent axle or you know something of that nature to uh, let them know. Okay. So what I, what I don't understand is when you pulled over to see the damage, why you can got back in the vehicle and continue driving until I got behind you. The reason I knew where you were is because we had two people call 911 that there was a black Nissan Ultima with them. Does that, does that look normal? Does that back tire look normal? You don't have to drive it to know if that's a normal. I get it. You have a cell phone, right? Yeah, I didn't get a chance to get that because I was trying to find a safer place to pull over at. Parking lot wasn't good? Huh? Parking lot wasn't good? Which parking lot? The one you stopped at when you talked to the couple. Um, no, they just uh, pulled up behind me and they were like, hey, just want to let me know that we uh we contacted the police i'm like yeah that's fine i said i just want to see the damage of the car to see how it's driving i didn't go fast i stayed right here in the lane i was, a, I was just trying to see the amount of damage to the car because i have to explain that to the rental car people all right it doesn't make sense to me but that's your story it sounds like you're sticking to it i mean I'm, i don't have the reason to I get it. I just mistakes happen. I'm not intoxicated. I'm not none of that. So, EMS told me that they want the babies to go to the hospital. Okay. okay. I'm gonna ride with them down there. Okay. Dad is gonna meet me up there at the hospital for her. Well, they're gonna go to the hospital right now for whatever EMS saw on them. Delta three. Like I said, the wheels, the wheels are off. I don't know if it's the alignment on the wheels, but they pulled to the right. The in the wind. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Look, I don't have any issues, like, with whatever's going on. I'm not, yeah. I'm not under any type of incident. Okay, ma'am. It's Florida Highway Patrol is coming to take care of the accident portion and if they feel they need to do any further testing that's what they're going to do with you okay? okay i'm here i'm going to ask you a couple questions though about um the children yeah. um we just the reason that ems took the children is there's a lot of bruises and cuts on the on the baby's arm you have you know what that's from it, what? Arms. there are lots of bruises and and cuts on her arms it's not impossible, ma'am. That's that's the reason they took them. It was fine. I just I just had them. I just changed them. We just came from Ocala. Okay, I, who's in Ocala? Um, my sister, my family. How long were you down there for? Um, I was down here all day since about uh since about um. So you went down there this morning? Yes. Yeah, take them to school. And you were just on your way back up now? Yep, I was on my way home. I there was nothing, no bullshit. Only thing is the car started just yanking the wheels like out of control. Okay. Do you so you have your driver's license still? Let me just write your name down so I don't have to. Alright, so like my concern was just some of the marks on if it's just they were scratching themselves or I'm just trying to figure well, out what I just picked them up from daycare. I mean there's things that happen at daycare. So. Yeah, do you know what's the name of the daycare you bring him to? Um I they, they go to uh They both go, you drop them off in the morning? Yep. You drive to Ocala every day? Yep. Drop them off? Yep. And then go back you hang out down there with your sister and family, and then when school's out or exactly. you working down there or no, no, I hang out with my sister and Okay. Okay. 
And so how long have they been going there since, how long have they been going to that? I know the age difference is, is significantly different, but. No, uh, they do great, they do great. With you never had any issues with the daycare before? No, no, the daycare is great and good hands. And they've been going to that daycare for how long? Uh, about a month now. About a month? Yep. Prior to that, were they going to a different daycare or? Yeah, they were going to a different daycare called But uh, they ended up closing down due to, I think, the corona outbreak and stuff. So they haven't yet reopened yet. Okay. To take care and stuff like that. I mean, they were safe. Okay. They were buckled in. Yeah, well, one of the calls that we got um, from on 911 was that the children were not restrained. No. I mean, I saw the one baby restrained, but the other one was kind of jumping oh. around. But. No, yeah, because he knows how to unlock. When he, once he comes to his stop, I noticed because I put him in the seat and he just kept wanting to get out. Yeah, he's just a he's a toddler, so he's yeah. at that stage where he can he's able to be in a toddler. Yeah, I got you. I tried to regain control. It's like the tires or the axle or something is off because it pulls. It pulls to the right. And right. I've actually well, I I definitely know it pulls now. So you're saying prior to whatever you hit, it was pulling. Yeah, it was already pulling. So, okay. Something, something's not right down below. What? The back, the back tire? Or? Yeah, I need to walk over there. I think the back is broken. I want you to stand right here in front of this forward end. I don't want you to be hit. Okay. All right, so we're just kind of hanging out right now waiting for Florida Highway Patrol guys, okay? But you don't know what I'm talking about on the, on the, I saw it on the baby's arms, on the, on the girl. She had some, she had lots of like kind of bruises and marks all up on her arms. I was just, you haven't noticed them? Right, and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that anybody was doing anything to her. She can do that to herself. Babies do that. Sometimes you got to put the little. You ever seen the yeah. little mittens and stuff like that? Because if their nails are too long, they can do that yeah, to themselves when they cry. Her nails definitely grow okay. All right. Well, we're just kind of hanging out here for now. Now that we've had a little bit of time to calm down, do you remember, like veering off? It must have been in the left lane. I'm just, I'm just thankful you guys are alive because it could have got worse, especially out in that prairie. It if it ha yeah, 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 I understand. It just happens so fast. It's right. Like, like I said, the, if you get in it, the steering wheel is not 100% like the tools, I guess that's the way you could say it, tools, difficult, like the, like the, I'm not done with cars. So, um, it's like it pulls to one direction. Right. And sometimes you got to try to pull it back to the other direction. All right, so the alignment may be off and it's pulling to one side. Exactly, and it's a rental car. I had a different rental car, but... But besides um, all that, I know you said it happened fast, but the impact, and I'm sure it was scary. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm yeah. trying to help you recall maybe what happened. It, I, it just, it happened so fast, it just... Because I can't, I actually can't recall down on the prairie if it would, I don't know if this happened before you got across, coming across the prairie, or while you were on it. It was down, it was down there a little bit. I know, I know it was down there a little bit. Because the lady stopped and they were like, okay. Do you remember where you stopped at? Like what, in front of what business, or do you? No, it was probably. Hey ma'am. That's all right, just stay over here. I don't want you to out here. Okay. It was it wasn't no more than a mile away, and I told her I said you know I just want to test drive it to see how it drives. What did she say when you said that? Um, Do you remember? No. Um, I'm just curious. No, I said uh, I just told her I was like basically I just want to see how the car is going to drive, if I'm able going to be able to drive it to a stop, or if I'm going to have to because I have AAA. Right. I'm going to have to have AAA so it is. <laughs> so that was my only. Well, I'll tell you, if this ever happens again, that is a pull your car over, call AAA, and get a tow truck because, especially with babies in the car, yeah, that that wheel could fall off any second now. Who knows what's holding you that on? You know what? I'm a female, so I'm not. No, I get it. I'm not good I, I know, but you got a Florida car. driver's license, so you took some kind of test, yeah. And you know that cars, 
you know that that car, after you hit something, the way it was driving. I saw when I was pulling you over, and you saw me turn around and pull you over, you're, you were all over the place. You yeah, can, because it was pulling. Yeah, well, was pulling. I mean, yeah. The back tire is trying to go a different direction than the front tire, and you're trying to fight it the whole time. So. No, no, no. I was just trying to see where, where we were going to get with it. So, okay. I wasn't trying to... You weren't to, going to get anywhere with it. I am. You know, men and women are different. I just... I was just trying to see how far I could get. Did it feel dangerous when you were doing it? Did it feel dangerous? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was tugging. It was tugging. But that's why I tried to wait so there was no traffic coming to try to see if that was something I would be able to maneuver and fix. So what did you hit? I have no idea. It just happened so fast that I... <laughs> I was going to turn back around and the lady sat behind me and she had to tell me like, oh, is everything okay? And then that's when I came out and died and I noticed there was some white overcast and you know, damage. So, I tried to go back to see what like exactly was hit, which what I think was a pole. You don't know where it was? Not exactly. It's within the... Somewhere, it's somewhere within this, like, probably, I don't want to say how far of a distance it is, but probably down there from where the paint area is, somewhere right in here. Like after the prayer? Yeah. You decided to switch the channel without a word present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the Lord. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Alright, these rights in mind, with these rights in mind, you would talk to us now? Yeah, Okay, so with drugs in here, I don't want to be open up some... Okay, well what is it? Because usually you don't see stuff like this. What I'm trying to help you. She, she can search, just keep your hands behind her. Just tell her. Okay, you guys are sitting here uh, attacking one We're not attacking you. I'm trying to let her do her job. Or you're not helping You're not, you. nobody is helping me do anything. I'm sitting here trying Tell me what it is and I'll get it out. Do. Delta 3. You're going to jail. Holly Hunter was charged with child neglect, DUI with property damage, hit and run, drug possession, and possession of drug equipment. Bond was set at $13,000.